Hello and welcome back to another video. Today I want to show you some of the animals that I saw while I was at Mission a couple of weeks ago and so we'll get right to it. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe if you haven't already so you can see more videos that I make. So first we went to a river in northern Michigan called Bear River. And as you may know, crayfish are almost always found in rivers, and they love to hide under rocks. So I was able to find a few. Take a look at this tiny little crayfish. This one here was a little bit larger. It was really cool seeing them. They're very cool creatures. Something interesting about crayfish is that their eyes can move independently, so they can see separate things from both their eyes. I'm not too familiar with the frogs in Michigan, but I believe that this is a green frog. I was looking up the frogs that live in Michigan and this one matched um, more closely than any of the other ones, so I think these are green frogs. Green frogs can range from 5 to 10 centimeters in length and they can live up to 6 years. Here's another green frog I found about 15 feet away from the other one. Then we went to Lake Michigan. It's such a beautiful lake and it's so clear. The only problem is it's very cold. While I was walking on these rocks, I saw a garter snake go really fast past me. And garter snakes are really cool because unlike most snakes, they live in large groups for most of the time and they can actually like be social with other garter snakes. And even though I lost this one, I was able to find another garter snake. And this one was seeming really calm. It was not moving, it wasn't slithering away from me. So I thought that I could go ahead and try to pick it up. The way I pick up snakes is I just very gently lift them and put them onto my hand because I don't want to stress them out. And also I understand that I could get bit, but I mean, I never handle venomous snakes. And the non-venomous ones, really, if you get bit, it's not a big deal. So I was super excited about holding this garter snake here. He is just the cutest thing and I was able to hold him for like 10 minutes before I put him back down. And the whole time he was just relaxing, enjoying the warmth on my hand. I think that these are Butler's garter snakes. They're definitely garter snakes, but I was just trying to figure out what type of garter snake exactly. And like all the animals I find outside, I went ahead and put him back where I found him. Snakes are really precious animals. I never get tired of seeing them. It's always so exciting to find one. So I was so happy to be able to hold this one here. And it was cool because I found a few other ones um, around the rocks. So they were definitely living in a group. So that's cool to see. So here's a white-tailed deer. The deer here in Michigan are much larger than the deer I see in Florida. This one here has antlers. I've never gotten this close to a deer. I was actually just walking in the woods and I heard something crackling in the leaves and I look and there's two deer. So I didn't get any closer because I didn't want to threaten them in any way, but that was really cool. And a little bit later, I was able to see these deer. It was really cute seeing the baby. So this is a river that feeds into Lake Michigan and there is tons of ducks. And it was really cool because I was able to see some ducklings with their mom. This little one here was all dark brown. I've never seen this before in a duckling.
I think they thought we had food and that's why they came so close. Well, that's all I got for my week in Michigan. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next video. Have a great day.